friendly RPG where no one has to die, huh? Interesting. Hey everyone, it's me, Stagger. Everyone in my freaking workplace has been talking about Undertale, Undertale this, Undertale that, and how it is the pretty much sole successor of, of the Mother series. So, because of that, here it is. Here it is. Install. So, yeah, I don't really know too much about it besides what I saw in the trailer, but it looks pretty weird. Pretty wicked, and it's an RPG, which makes me very happy. I like RPGs. But, um, so far, I don't see any correlation besides the text in terms of how it is closely resembles the Mother series. Anyway, application was made using Game Maker. <laughs> I remember Game Maker. <laughs> Game Maker is an intellectual property of YoYo Games in the United Kingdom. At the end of the user license agreement, it applies to all users and applications. Any text within square brackets is irrelevant to me, nor in reading interpretation of text, scope, you may install the user application using personal or commercial use provided that you have paid license fee in this application. You must not use, copy, transfer, dispute, modify, adapt, merge, translate, decompile. Oh, really? No translation? Decompile, disassemble, or reverse engineer the application of the part of your system and personal license. Remove or modify temporary like copyrighted trademark or other notices. Well, that's reasonable. But seriously? What is up with that? Use the application for any illegal or unlawful or immoral use. You know, I get it that modify, adapt, or merge, translate, decompile, disassemble. You bought the freaking game. Does it really matter? Anyway, term license will automatically end if you breach any of the terms. If the license ends, you must stop all use of application, destroy, or erase copies you may have. That is cold. In fact, how are they even going to know if you don't post it on YouTube? Anyway, liability. Yo-Yo Games is limited to Yo-Yo Games. is not involved in the creation of the application except by only using the making Game Maker. Yo-Yo Games warranty the Game Maker functions satisfy the property and cooperation corresponding to the game. Yo-Yo -Yo Games does not warranty the operation of the application and the unlimited or error free of the errors corrected. You install and the application using your own risk, even will your your games be liable for any loss of damage of any kind, except for personal injury, death, as your your games neglectance. Seriously? Okay, so if I get a seizure from this game, it's your your games' fault. Anyway, including from lost profits of other consequential losses that arise from use of inability of application, the errors, the defecation. Whether <laughs> caused by negligence or otherwise. To maximum extent permitted by law, Yo Yo Games limited to exclude liability of all warranties, condition, and other terms, but n but for this would not affect. General, uh, covering intelligence, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is trademark crap. I'm reading this in my head. It's just a lot faster that way because I'm just. <sighs> Yeah, I just hate the right granted in this license are not exclusive. Good to know. Anyway, license does not affect a sanctuary license as a consumer. That's also really good to know. The license government and governed by English law and parties submitted to exclusive jurisdiction of English courts. If you have a problem with this application, please contact the person who made it, not Yo-Yo Games. <laughs> I love how straightforward they are. I said these terms to install the application. You do not accept terms and include a software installation that may not install, run software, or any other computer. I noticed that there were no brackets within the entirety of this. Yeah, there's no brackets in the entirety of this uh, thing. I see parentheses, but no brackets. So what the heck? All right. 
the, the terms are reasonable enough. Steam is now downloading Undertale. You can track progress in the downloaded Steam view. You can safely exit, restart Steam, download automatically, and resume. So, this may take a while. Oh, okay, there's only one item. This game must be pretty small. Let's see here. Yeah, only a few megabytes per second. And it's almost done downloading. Heck, this game must be pretty short then. Or, not. And even if it's not short, you know. I'm still actually surprised on how, on how fast that took. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and launch it. And it's going to be full screen, isn't it? If it is full screen, then that means. Uh, my bandy cam will be. Oh, okay, never mind. That's good. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebot 2000X Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. just slipped and fell and died. Pretty dark start. Alright, first things first, I should probably change the uh, volume considering that I am doing talking. There we go. Undertale, press 2 or enter. Z to enter or confirm. X to shift or cancel. C to or control the menu in game. Okay. F4 full screen, exit to quit. When HP is 0, you lose. Just flat out. Okay. Enter the name of the fallen human. Now, it looks like a girl. I will go ahead and say that much, but, you know, boys can have long hair as well. So, I'm going to make this a gender neutral name. Let's call this child. Hmm. One second. Okay, this is a rather strange name, but from what I look up, this is probably the best name out of the bunch. Zo. Yeah. Like how they're just having so much fun with the text here. Okay, so there's Zo uh, right there. So there's no start menu, unfortunately. That's normally the first thing I look at when I play a new game, is just the start menu. Um, because I've been playing a lot of emulators, I always press enter, it's just, just a habit of mine. And anyway, there's a fly right here. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Chloe the flower. Hmm. You're in the new underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you things how work around here. Guess a little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Alright. See that heart? This is your soul. Very accumulating of your being. 
Your soul starts weak. But you can grow strong if you gain a lot of levels. What, LV star? Why, love, of course. Don't you, you want love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down there, love is shed through. Little, white, friendly battles. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Ouch. You idiot. In this world, it killed or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh snap, that's a lot of petals. Die! <laughs> Huh? What a terrible future torturing such a poor, innocent youth. And don't be afraid, my child. Antoria. Antoria. Take care, taker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I'll guide you through the catacombs. This way. I do hear the Earth Bounty soundtrack. And so far, like I said, there's not much. The shadow of ruins looming above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operations of the ruins. Okay, that's not a hard puzzle. These ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Only fearless may perceive brave ones, foolish ones, both walk not the middle road. Interesting. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Don't worry, I have labeled the ones you need to flip. Press C to read signs! Yeah, we kinda just figure that out. Stay on the path. Music's pretty nice. So, um, what happens if I just don't press the switch? The first switch is over on the wall. Okay. I don't want to. I'm just gonna go back and gonna see if Fla how Flowey's doing. Oh, Flowey's still not there anymore. Well, there's gotta be a way to get out of here, you know? After all, like, you know... In the okay, in the in-game cutscene, we fell flat on our face onto the, some hard floor, and here we can clearly see that we're on top of some flowers. Not only that, but you know there was a flower right here too, and as we can see here, these are clearly autumn leaves. So there seems to be a lot of strange stuff going on here. I mean, give or take, we are technically dead. So, some strange stuff. No, no, no. Uh, uh, uh. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. I want to see if she says something different if we just keep going. I don't think she will. Alright, that's fine. Splendid. I'm proud of you, little one. Let's move to the next room. So this is pretty much has what most modern games have problems with, is that they tend to hold your hand quite a bit. I'm not sure if this is ironic or what, but so far I'm not seeing the mother references here. Anyway, a human living in the underground, musters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation, however worry not, the process is simple. 
When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a com friendly conversation. Stall for time. It'll come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. What kind of RPG resolves it resolves fighting by talking? Do you need some ideal conversation topics? Well, I have to start with a simple how you do. You can ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton What did the skeleton tile at his roof with? Shingly shingles, ha ha ha. Well, I thought it was amusing. Practice action to the dummy. You can say anything. Dummy will not be bothered. You encounter the dummy! Okay, so fight, act, item, and mercy. Let's see what I. Okay, we don't have any items. Dummy! Attack zero, defense zero, a cotton heart, a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. They're trying to rhyme, but they failed that miserably. Also, what's with this text here? I mean, why is it so twitchy? That That's annoying, honestly. Dummy stands around absent-mindedly. Okay, let's talk it. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Troyal seems happy with you. You won! EXP zero. Gold zero. Ah, very good. You are very good. Can we talk to the dummy a little bit more? Alright, fine, whatever. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Frog it attacks you! Well, if it's attack, let's go to a fight! Oh, I see, huh. Okay. You earned 10 EXP, 20 gold. Your love increased. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay, that's important. So you're, you're saying that I will have to be solving this puzzle, huh? This is the puzzle, but... Here, take... My hand for a moment. Are you serious?! This game literally holds your hand?! Uh, are you... Uh, it's just... It's just... Uh, oh my... When a game literally holds your hand! <sighs> Puzzle scene a little too dangerous for now. Oh my god! Just what? You have finally done excellent thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask for you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Okay. That doesn't seem bad. Forgive me for this. I'll see the big deal. It's not like there's like any dangers in here. After I say that, probably something bad might happen. So, yep, just a long corridor. Don't mind me, I'm just walking. Staggering the path. You know what, I don't want to obey the rules, so I'm just gonna walk off the path. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting in me. However, there is an important reason for this exercise. To test your independent- I'm pretty damn independent, young lady. Or old lady, I don't know. You must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you need anything, just call. Be good, alright? Man, I just got finished playing a game involving cell phones. Do I really need to play another game involving cell phones? Whatever, I'm playing actually in the background. I'm actually playing another game. The sequel to the first game with cell phones. Anyway. Ring! 
Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have not yet explained. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click! Playfully crinkling through the leaves fill you with determination. HP fully restored! Gwisham approached meekly, huh? Gwisham! Attack 5, defense 0! This monster is too sensitive to fight! Okay. That was, in that was interesting. Winsome is fluttering. Okay, so what's up with you? Halfway through your first word, Winsome burst into tears and ran away. You won! EXP 0, single zero, 0. Okay, that means I gotta kill that thing. Alright, fine, it's whatever. Hmm. YOLO! Huh, alright, that was, that was interesting. Ring! Hello, this is Toya. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, you gotta go for butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Hello, this is Toyel. Do you not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up the nose if you found out your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Yeah. Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend pushing them. All right. Let's not fight it. Well, it's gonna run away no matter what. So yeah, let's just go ahead and destroy it. Two XP, two gold. Well, something tells me I have to fall. Oh, I get it. That's why there's autumn leaves. Please don't step on the leaves. Screw your rolls! I'm gonna step on every- I would really like to check my inventory. Honestly, I am actually getting furious the fact that I can't really check my inventory. <sighs> Whatever. So... Don't, didn't re you read the sign downstairs? <laughs> okay, so I have to go all the way to the bottom. That's fine. Frog it, hop. Destroy you. Hop, hop. So I guess I have to avoid these things. Frog it, hops, and fro. You won! You're in 3 EXP. Alright. You tripped on a line of molds. That's a lot of mold... Mold smalls. Okay. Small Smalls, Attack 6, Defense 0, Stereotypical, Curvescally, Attractive, But No Brains! Squish, Burble, Burble, Burble. Alright, so, these guys don't seem that hard. ATTACK! Climb sounds, Burble, Burble, Sexy Wiggle. Sexy Wiggle! Now that's something... What? Roma of Lime Gelatin wafts through the air.
This is by far one of the strangest RPGs I've played. Oh, that was a failure. I mean, who heard of an RPG where you have to dodge stuff? That is... I don't know, this is just alien for me. And that's kind of, and this is kind of from the guy that played a rhythm RPG. Yes. A game where you do damage by playing through the beat of music. Well there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you are asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Seriously? Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Ugh. Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Was that helpful? Yeah, that was kind of helpful. Alright. Seriously? Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Knowing that mouse might one day leave this hole get, and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Yeah, sure. Anyway. This cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the tin. Oh man. <laughs> All right, to, to continue the game, we just gotta move it with force here. Here comes Napsa Block. Now it's a block! Attack 10, defense 10! Monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Okay, I- uh, wow. The, 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 these tears. What the heck. Faint odor of ectoplasma permits the vicinity. This guy's pretty tough, according to the checksum, so... Let's see how much damage we can do here. Just plugging along. I feel it! Not really right now, sorry! Oh, jeez. Calm down! It's wishing they weren't here. Okay, so Mercy doesn't do anything, apparently. Toho all over again, anyway. Fine then, you know what? Just threaten you. Get naps up, curd look. Go ahead, do it. Jesus! Alright then, I'll just end your misery. Because that's what it seems like you want me to do. Fine, thanks. Staring into the distance. Just plugging along. Um, you know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sort of imperial and all. Corporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be. Oh my god! Really? I just made this more awkward. Yeah, you did! Pretend you beat me. Ooh! You won! You lost! 1 EXP.
<laughs> you can lose EXP. Okay, so... Verdict! The humor is actually pretty great, I will admit to that. This game literally freaking holds your hand, but I'm hoping that's the only time it will. So far, I don't really see how there is any... anything... how this is even related to Mother? I mean, because seriously, the... What? I don't see how this is even related to, like, the Earthbound series, and I don't see how it's technically the sole successor of the Earthbound series. Honestly, it does make me a little bit angry, because that's what I was looking, looking forward to. The whole reason why I spent ten freaking bucks on this game. Whatever. I'll continue playing the game, and maybe it might get better. I will admit that it is actually pretty decent, fun to play, whatnot, but honestly, the fact that they really, you know, that they claim that this was the sole successor of Mother, <sighs> that honestly irritates me to no end. The, I felt besieged, lied to, um, just, whatever, I'll continue playing the game if, if anything, I can at least consider it as a decent game. So that's it, and I'll be seeing ya.